Good morning. It is Saturday, March 19th, 2019. Um, I am on my way to Maine for the pageant weekend. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Sam, Samantha, um, and I, I know, I'm a little sad, guys. I can't cry, though. I just did my spray tan and my makeup. <laughs> um, but we just dropped off Oakley at the animal hospital this morning. We went yesterday because he had seizures, um, and he's never had seizures before. Um, I don't know if I've updated a whole lot about him because my other dog just passed away, but um, Oakley kind of just like declined really fast this like last two weeks. Um, and yesterday he had seizures, so we went to the ER for animals and they wanted to keep him overnight, or they gave us the option, but we brought him back early this morning. Um, so they have him all day today to monitor him and try to see if he can see a neurologist. Um, he's not even that old, so it's just like, it's hard. Um, but I am trying to be excited too because I am now on my way to the pageant, Miss Maine USA. If you guys don't know, I was Miss Maine USA in 2014. Um, and I come back every year and like help out in the pageants and stuff like backstage with the girls. Um, and also this year a sponsor for them, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm trying to be happy. It's gonna be a happy little weekend, even though I have to leave my dog and my husband at home. Um, so I'm like sad, but I'm happy and it's hard because I'm human. But um, yeah, so I gotta get going. It is 8.30, I have to be in the hotel for 10.30, so let's do this thing. You guys, you guys, I think I just need to take a break for a second <laughs> because I was just jamming out, almost spilled my tea as well, oh my god. I was jamming out to some good old Carrie Underwood on the highway and all of a sudden, my windshield wiper falls, flies off. And for a split second I was like, do I stop and go get it? <laughs> There's cars behind me, it's raining. I'm just like, what is today? I don't like today. I want it to be better, but, mm. and then the guy here at AutoZone, AutoZone, yeah, he um, was like, we don't have the one that you need. I guess Ty's car needs a certain one, I don't know. Um, but we got the next best thing. So, just had the guy help me put it on. And now, now I'm ready to go. Here we go. It looks like I'll be there. I was gonna be there early, and now I'm gonna be there at 10:29. So right on time here. So all right, let's get going. Hopefully this day gets better. got back to or just checked in to my room um i still have to go to my car and grab all of my luggage and everything i'm gonna get changed for the show um and tonight is prelims night so i'm excited and my dog you guys update on oakley so ty gave me a call um he just got home um he didn't have to stay the whole day which was really really nice um and the doctor's don't think it's cancer because he's doing so well that they think it's just, I don't think it's just, but they think it could be an inner ear infection. Um, so we're gonna do some antibiotics and if that doesn't work, then we'll do an MRI, but he's home. They said he did really, really good. Um, so that like made my day. So I feel like I can like focus on the girls. Um, so I'm really excited. The rehearsals went really, really well. Um, 
a lot of new faces this year and a lot of returning girls. I feel like it's like split half and half. Um, so it's really fun, but my outfit, I'm just wearing this Paisley um, Booty by Bray Vance set in like this olive color. Um, and then I just threw this like vintage blazer over it. I can never tell if this blazer is blue or black. I think it's like a navy, but I don't know. But I just put it with this and then I'm wearing my New Balance sneaks just for rehearsals to be comfy and everything backstage. But I'm gonna change into something cute. Holly's still with the blazer though. Um, and then go get my makeup touched up by Rita or Rob. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, it is preliminary night. I survived the downpour outside. I don't think I filmed because I was like a drenched rat. Um, but I had to go get my stuff outside at the car and it was downpouring. So I dried off. I actually curled my hair, got my makeup done. Looks really pretty. It's hard to tell on here, but there's actually like a violet color that kind of goes with my outfit. So I'm wearing um, this like little satin set that is actually from Target and I'm pretty sure it's PJs, but little tank and short situation. It kind of looks like it's like a jumpsuit or romper. And then I just put my blazer back on and cuff the sleeves. And then I have on these like really beautiful blue shoes. Oh, oh no. I think I need to fix my foot from a spray tan. Um, but these beautiful blue heels. Um, and then, cause it kind of goes with the navy like this is navy and then this purple, I thought this blue was like the right pop. And then just a little white bag to keep like my phone and room key and stuff in. So we are ready to go. Prelim night. Here's a better look of the colors, the blue. So I'm gonna head down. Um, and it's prelim show. So if you guys haven't seen pageants before, prelims is basically like the playoffs to the Super Bowl. Like you don't win the Super Bowl or you don't go to the Super Bowl unless you do well in playoffs. So that is tonight. So I'm excited for the girls. Let's go. I'm tired. I think I vlogged that much today honestly between Oakley and then just like trying to get the girls like pumped up and stuff like backstage and like juggling literally papers my phone the headset there's a lot going on backstage um so I didn't really get to vlog that much but I just want to say I'm back in my hotel room um Oakley is doing okay Ty says and um I just got some drinks with my friends at the hotel bar but i am so zonked i'm gonna go to bed um and i'll see you guys tomorrow um tomorrow is finals night or day i think the pageant is during the day actually on sunday um but sorry i'm holding my ipad to get a little bit more light on my face <laughs> Um, but yeah, tomorrow is finals night and then I'm going to head home to see my boys. But I always love finals night. It goes by so fast, but I'm going to have a new sister, Miss May USA. Um, yeah. So I just want to say goodnight and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to wash off this makeup in a second. So, but I'm going to try to go to bed. I have a headache. Okay, goodnight. But what time is it? 7.30. I'm gonna make my tea. Okay. And kind of organize my room. And then get ready. Okay. I might post something on Instagram. I don't know. I don't really like any of my pictures. I didn't get a cute picture. Mm-hmm. Right. I love you. Love you too. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.
Can't even see. Gosh, I still have makeup on and like eyeliner on. You guys look at my ad because I'm a sponsor. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So cute. Good morning. Both <laughs> fixing her hair. We have the doggy. He doesn't know that he's going to doggy vacation for the night, but we're off to Miss Massachusetts. Woo. I am bringing Ty with me. <laughs> Ty and all the other husbands actually do a lot behind the scenes, so like, I do appreciate it. We are a necessity. You are. Look who I found. <laughs> Queens in the girls' room. The girls. <laughs> like true life. Haircuts real quick. <laughs> Over the trash can. I can't. <laughs> Is it matching? Should I turn this way? This is so. It's behind the scenes. No one sees. <laughs> Sabrina's doing it in the parking lot. I was done. Oh my god. We are so happy that this moment has finally come. In 24 hours, right? A new queen, two new queens will be crowned, and you're sitting in this room. Have this feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. No. How are you? I should a little cheater. Look at you. Love it. Hold me towards you and I can't fight it. My head's underwater. I try to disguise it. Want you to hold me. Look at you. Okay. Get me to focus. Why are you laughing? You got me. You got me. What but up? what up what up we just left miss mass usa prelims it's still sunny out this is wild usually it's november and the pageant is later so it's like nighttime look at that house oh you couldn't see on the camera museum. oh the museum yeah that's right but we're off to 
to the hotel. We're gonna go have a little pizza party, a little after party. We're gonna see Caroline. So excited to see her and just party it up. Well, not really, but tomorrow's a big day, the bigger day. What even time is it? 2.18. 2.18. Little alarm just went off in the hotel. And we all evacuate, evacuated. Because it told us to. <laughs> Don't put the TV on. Let's go back to bed. That was wild. Just show them what's real. What's happening. Good morning. <coughs> Why are you so handsome in the morning? We're off to breakfast. And then off to the stage. It's fun. Good morning. Wait, why are we going on? I don't know the button was going up. Look at the pool. Shirt by Shock June 3rd by Julia Scaparati. Babe, what do you wear? Shirt by Founders Brewery. <laughs> Grand Rapids. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's We're doing mock top 16, top five. Um, going through the whole show for five got me through because pageant weekend can be really tough sometimes but the thing that always got me through was remembering how you got here remembering the journey remember um your family and your friends back home who are supporting you and watching you um that's what's going to get you through this weekend and all of the girls sitting right next to you are going to get you through this weekend don't be afraid to make friends don't be afraid to reach out that's always one of my favorite things that i leave pageant weekend with just so many friends um, and I also want to say, I say this all the time, a lot of people hear me say this, but I have been to a lot of other pageants, but Maine is always my favorite because girls are clapping for each other. Like, I remember last year, some girls didn't really know how to walk on beats, so the other girls would clap on beats so that they would know when to walk. That's just, the energy in Maine is so good, and I really want you guys to keep that up this weekend because it's so important, and that's really what gets you through. So. With that said, good luck, and we are here. If you need absolutely anything, advice, um, address, zip up, we're going to be here. So, good luck. Building, but as you look below, 
How does it focus? <laughs> Will it automatically focus on me? Yo, what up, fam? Focus. Are you filming? Yeah, I'm trying. Hey. Oh, shit. Do you have to be that close? No, it should just focus. Yeah, see? Hi. Hi, checking in. Oh. Those knockoff Pringles? No, they're veggie. Like they're veggie better. Pringles. They're better for you, Pringles. Made with potatoes. Not real Pringle. And beets. Not sponsored. No free ads. But we just came. I got my makeup done by Rita. Looks bomb. I have a lip gloss on, but I'm trying to eat chips. Um, <coughs> we are gonna change for the show. Who's this little guy? Oh, he man is here. Who's this little guy? He's here. Hey. Be interested in stopping setting up shots. Who's this old guy? This region is called the Western Sahara. What have you been up to? I feel like I haven't seen you. A little bit of nothing. A lot of bit of nothing. A lot of bit of nothing. Chilled outside, walked the dog a couple times. Went for a ride <gasps> with him to get you some water and okay, cough drops. Yep. Um, left him in the car with the AC and the car running. Because <coughs> I felt bad if I left him to go into Target, so I went to a gas station. Are you changing for the show? I'm going to change for the show. I'm going to shower and get ready. Have Rita do my makeup. No, I might shave, though. Yeah. Checking in. Hey. Hey. There's Oakley's blanket. There <coughs> you go. Okay. Yo. Bye. Hello. I feel like, even though Ty just did a great little check-in, I feel like I haven't checked in since Mass, but hello, we're at Miss Mean USA. <coughs> There's Ty. Um, in your shower? Okay, okay, sounds good. Um, Rita just did my makeup. I'm obsessed. I haven't had her do my makeup in so long so good um but yeah i lost my voice on tuesday and it's coming back it doesn't hurt anymore which is good but it's coming back and you know when you're like your throat is healing it's like it gets itchy that's where i'm at so i keep coughing and i'm just like <laughs> it's not covid it's just my throat but ty is signaling to me that he needs to take a shower because we're gonna get ready for the show it's prelim night miss main usa Let's go. I think I'm gonna wear orange, so let's try to figure let's that out. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hi, handsome boy. Are you loving hotel life? Oh, you loving hotel? You're being so good for your first hotel, huh? You're probably like, where does mama and dada keep going? We keep switching off, huh? I love you. I love you. It's me and Brooke again. Hello. Here we are. The door's just opened. Here's Molly. <laughs> oh, you look so cute. Wait, what are you wearing? Can you see? Polly. So cute. Love it. <laughs> Here's Joe. Joe again. If you don't know Joe, then who are you? <laughs> red carpet talk. Here we are on the red carpet. What do you have to say? Are you excited? I'm so excited. Me too. A really great group of girls. And it honestly is. Yes. Yeah. We're backstage. We're making sure everyone's on stage at the right time. <laughs> Big roll. Yes. Oh yeah. They're actually listening. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. This is T Smith. You guys Hello. don't know T Smith? Him and Joe are the hardest workers here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just saw your mother. Yes, she's grabbing my underwear. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, we are backstage, kind of. Welcome back. On our way. On our way. We have our VIT. VIP, wait, is, yeah, I have mine on. Yeah. Her VIP necklaces. We are going back to, this is hair and makeup. Hello, ladies. Everyone's in line for a little touch up and mas mascara. No, lashes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> adorable. Lashes, lashes for everyone. Everyone. This light is amazing. Rita. You're doing great. <laughs> All right, let's Thanks go back. We're going backstage. That, that light's good. You want a picture? Do you want a picture? Right there. 
No, do it. I think that's my water. Hey, Ava. Hey. So you do so much for the pageant. What is your favorite part about the whole entire process? Definitely pageant weekend where everything comes full circle and I get to see all the beautiful girls dressed up and <laughs> all their hard work pay off. It really means a lot. And I'm proud of them. <laughs> How are you feeling? I mean, the emotions haven't really hit yet, but I'm excited. It feels good to be this glam again. I feel like I haven't been this glam in a long time. But. You look so beautiful. Thank you. My goodness. I'm excited to see what happens. Yes. Here you are. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Yeah. I feel very calm. It's a similar feeling to right before Miss USA where I just know that this is a wonderful time in my life and now it's time for someone else and I'm really excited for that. Oh, I love that. You know who's Ooh. Uh, who is that? Is? Wait, for real though? I'm obsessed with your jumpsuit. <laughs> Stop it, you look amazing. Look cute. I love like the open back. Yes, yes, yes. Like, what the heck yes. is she? Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Cute. Yay. Cute. Alright, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just choking on my gum, don't worry. Should we go up there right now? Yes, yeah, so you guys can line up the two by two. Are you ready? I'm not a team. I know. <laughs> you can't even run <laughs> So we're at Hard Shore. We just got Monado from across the street. It's one of our favorite restaurants. But we're sitting outside Hard Shore. Ty, what did we get? We got some JFC, I don't know in if case it, you don't oh, know, wow. Japanese fried chicken. Japanese fried chicken, this is so good. I've been literally it's craving this for it. so long. It looks different than it the last time. It does look different, but it looks really good. I've had it, but yes. Then we got kimchi fried rice. This is bomb. Oki is excited. Wow. Too excited. Okay. Let's go. Probably doesn't want to stay up too late either. But. Yeah. What are you doing? Do you know where we are? We are hard shore. Yeah, you used to work here, huh? You used to work here, be the puppy. You were security guard. You were security guard. You go boy. Good morning. Wow, this hair. Crazy. Also, I definitely did like a skin faux pas, or like faux pas, something you shouldn't do. So I slept with my lashes on, so I was going to try to keep them. But they're kind of coming off, so I feel like I should probably just take them off. I tried so hard. But, <clears throat> good morning. It's, what time is that? <clears throat> 7.50. And it is actually really beautiful outside. Ty is up, um... The hotel that we're staying at is like right on a golf course. So Ty and his dad and our friend Joe um, all went golfing this morning for Father's Day. So <clears throat> Ty's been gone since like six. And it's just me and Oki. I'm going to call my dad for Father's Day. Oakley's looking at another dog outside. <laughs> but today is... Oh, there's another guy. I'm in my PJs. <laughs> um... But today is finals day for Miss Maine USA, which is really exciting. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated, but it's so hard because everyone here is, like, working it somehow and, like, <clears throat> has a role. So I'm backstage helping the girls, like, be on stage at the right time. So it's kind of hard sometimes to videotape, but I'll try my best. Um, <clears throat> but, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's FaceTime Dad. He's in my phone as new dad because he got a new phone number at one point and I just never deleted the other one. Hi. Mom? I was reading something on dad's phone. Oh. Happy Father's Day. Why do you look so beautiful in the morning? Oh, I kept my lashes on, but I they're kind of falling off, so I'm probably going to have to take them off. 
he's getting me a coffee on Father's Day. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I thought you guys were enjoying your call. Happy Father's Day! What is that? I don't usually. <laughs> I don't know what I do, it's always with Sammy. <laughs> Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. Oh, that's so neat. Aww. I thought it was super cool. It's my outfit of the morning. <laughs> um, I just have on this Zara bodysuit. It's like a tan, nice bodysuit. Um, and then I have my booty by Bray Bands, little um, biker shorts on, little uh, slides and a little just black zip up. I don't know, sometimes it's cold in this stage, like ballroom, and sometimes it's like hot. So I'm just gonna bring it kind of off the shoulder and then I have my little tag, Steph. <laughs> and the style award goes to 28. Teens, this is exactly the same for you guys, okay? So pay attention. Yeah. Click, 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 click. Let me go back. Hello. So I just got back to the room for a sec. I have to, I want to check on Oakley. Just chilling right here. Um, and also I had to iron my suit for later and pack up. Um, but I just wanted to say, I don't know if you guys can hear me with the AC on, but I'm still gonna roll. Um, <clears throat> but I was just thinking about how, I don't know, I just had this like little like idea or like thought about this whole pageant world. And I feel like I was talking to a girl last weekend at Miss Mass and we we're talking about how when she posts pageant things, people say, oh, like you're so conceited or you're so, um, all about yourself and she was really upset by that because she was like well this is a huge part of like my life right now and like I can post like you can post whatever you want and like whatever you think about someone's post is like your projection of you know what I mean like so you can post selfies and whatever and but I don't think that like makes you conceited but what I was just thinking was like if anything like competing in the pageant and being part of this whole organization it really I think humbled me and not like I had to be caught like bring being be brought like back down to earth but it's like it helped at least for me it made me realize so many things like I can literally do whatever I put my mind to um manifesting is real um it's all up to me to make shit happen. So many things. And I think when people like look at you from the outside, they see just a girl who is beautiful because she knows how to do her makeup or like, like I literally learned how to do my makeup and how to dress my own body type from pageantry, which obviously like will just help your outer image. And I think that's what people just see is like they just see this girl who like looks really good from the outside which really bothered me through my reign because I was like I'm so much more than just like Miss Maine USA like the title like I have a name I have a personality and there's just so much more about me than just like what I'm doing um, in this role but people just see that from the outside they see the glitz they see the glam they see selfies they see beautiful like makeup and photo shoots and like you don't that's all you see because that's like what you're taking picture of like that's just kind of like the physical um, but when you think about it though, or like like I, said, like I said, for me, it made me realize like, like once my reign was over and I was not like the reigning Miss Maine USA, it was really like, you know what? Like that was just like a label or just like a segment of my life, but I'm Samantha, like I'm Sam. And basically what I'm trying to say Maybe I'll figure out a different way to say it at some point, but this world you see as glitz and glam and fun and beautiful and it's so much more than that. 
and and like it really helps a young woman like develop her confidence in herself and that's what i mean by like humbling is like i can walk into a room and i don't have to be the loudest person i don't have to be the prettiest person i don't have to have the best outfit like i'm so secure in just who i am that i can just walk in and i'm very present and i'm calm and you know just go with the flow where i feel like if you're not confident in yourself or if you don't know that you are worthy and you are great then you're always going to be trying to be the best here and be the best this and do the best this and you're always going to be trying to like look around and like compare yourself and like you almost be like on edge where i feel like pageantry really teaches you to look within even though it is like a beauty pageant and all of you in the audience see just like that part of it there's so much other like inner work that goes into it that that's why I feel like it brings girls back because every single time like this is one of the coolest tools I think and opportunities for girls to do that work and gain confidence and become a better young woman because otherwise I feel like with school and with this and with college and whatever this and that like I feel like you just don't get to the point fast enough. We're here, it's like, who are you on the outside? Obviously we can help you with your eyelashes and your hair and your <laughs> outfits and whatever. But like, who are you on the inside? And where do you wanna go? What are your goals? What are your dreams? Like, it is like a fast track to finding the real you and being confident in who you are. And that is the part that I feel like, unless you're in this, you don't get it. You don't. You just think it's like, oh, a bunch of pretty girls parading on stage and like, oh, yeah, you volunteer here and there. Like, you don't get it. And so when people are like, oh, you, oh, you're going to Miss Massachusetts this weekend. You're going to Miss Maine this weekend. Like, it's not one big party. I mean, we have a great time. But it's really special, especially for me, to come back and volunteer at these pageants and be backstage with the girls because I know what they're going through. I know how much work it's taken to get to where they are to even step on that stage some of these girls have never stepped on a stage before so the fact that you're stepping on a miss universe miss main usa stage is for the first time is crazy and it's so cool and i just love so i usually am in the back wings which means like when the girls are ready to go on stage i'm kind of like the last person that they talk to before they step on that stage so i'm always like how are you doing you look gorgeous like sometimes we talk about the pageant sometimes we talk about other things depending on like what their like nerve level is and then they always have a great time like they go out on stage they they smile i'm losing a little bit of light um but they they always like dm me after the, they're like you were so calm you were so fun and like that's what i want that's like the whole experience it's the whole experience between like trusting women and working together knowing that you are worthy with or without a man or a woman or with whatever you have like you don't have to have thousands of millions of dollars to do a pageant you do not have to do that you don't have to have all the connections either it's really like what you bring to the table and that's why it just like being here on these weekends means so much to me because it was a big part of my life obviously and I don't come back because I'm like oh she can't she can't get rid of it she can't give it up and she's still in it it's like like I said you don't understand and being part of this energy and being a part of a girls weekend like I just want to make sure that they have the best time ever because whatever happens this weekend like these girls two girls are gonna win there's gonna be a miss there's gonna be a team everybody else is going to walk away with an experience hopefully some friends as well which probably like, always happens um but with an experience and with like at work with my interns and like right here um with these girls like i always just think about when you were doing a sport when you're little um or when you were doing like a class like art class or science or whatever it might be and your teacher or your coach wasn't the best and in the way that like you needed or they just really didn't make you enjoy the sport or the subject anymore which like say you're a really great artist but your art teacher like just wasn't really nice or whatever might happen just really deterred you from wanting to pursue art but like that was something you really really wanted to do and it really makes like your soul light up and like be on fire i don't want to be that bad coach for people because that's happened to me with like 
dance or like field hockey or certain things I just had a bad experience and I, I know a lot of people have had this too and you just kind of like you know what I don't think I want to do this anymore just because that like what well, one person or that whole like experience ruined it for you and you could have been a really great field hockey player you could have been a really great artist you could have been really great whatever it might be so th for these girls like I said two people win the crown but the girls that leave without the crown like I want them to have the best time I want them to think positively about themselves I don't want girls to leave without the crown thinking that their best wasn't enough because that's not true it's just that your path is different right now and even though this is something like you everything in your life you do to bring you to the next step or bring you to the next lesson or bring you to the next whatever that you need to know about yourself or about life or whatever it might be so for some of these girls like the crown is going to be something that they need like for me honestly like i needed that i was having a rough time up until then and i needed something like that to propel me and to give me that more that confidence and make me believe this that and whatever i have my whole writing a book on it um but <laughs> i'm just like so just passionate about it because if you're not in this you don't get it and i'm trying before i used to want to i feel like make people understand but it's almost like you can't bring a horse to water and make it drink like you can make people excited about it you can tell them about it but they're still gonna think what they want and they're still not gonna understand like they can one in you know in one ear out the other like not everybody's gonna understand so the girls that are here though they do understand and I want to make sure that whatever they decide to do in life they remember this time as like a key point in their timeline like I always talk about like little ticks on your timeline like this is when you're born this is when you die what do you do in between here and what is really cool that you've done that's really impacted <laughs> Excuse me, I had a coughing fit. I'm getting my voice back and it's itchy. Um, like, this is when you're born. This is when you die. What do you do in between? Like, what are some cool things that have happened to you? What are some things that were just really impactful that kind of made you who you are and, like, kind of developed your life path? So, for me, obviously, it was competing in Miss Me in USA. And Miss USA and, like, that whole part is one of my ticks. Even if a girl doesn't win the crown, I want this to be one of her ticks in her timeline. I learned how to walk in heels. I learned how to make friends. I believed in myself. I did my own hair. Um, I networked and I got sponsors. I talked to a big group of people. I walked on stage for the first time. I, like these are all little wins that develop your confidence and develop your character. Um, and I want them to just walk away and be like, I did that and I'm amazing and I'm worthy and I can do the next thing that comes at me. I can walk into a room now, I can walk into an interview and just nail it because I know who I am and I can stand in front of you, I can dress myself, I know what I'm saying. There's just so much that goes into it and I feel like, like I want everyone to understand but then it's also like you, like I said, like you're gonna meet me where you are at where you where you are at um in your mindset and in what you whatever you think about pageants like some people think it's just a bunch of pretty girls parading in a bikini and they think it sucks and i'm like wow that sucks for you because it's actually pretty great um or people still think it's all like sexist and this and that and whatever but i am so excited for the girls again like i just want this to be the best you know weekend that they've experienced especially after covid having friends and getting out there and learning how to talk to people again and just being confident in your in your body and who you are in your mind so i don't know it's very special and um but as you guys are watching or you watched i'm not sure where i'm going to put this in my vlog but um i hope you i hope it makes you smile i hope you kind of maybe think a little bit differently about pageants um but just so you can kind of see the behind the scenes of like what actually goes on. So, yeah, so I gotta iron my, my suit and we'll get my makeup done. But thanks for my TED talk. <laughs> and I'll see you guys soon. And we'll read them right away. Do you want me to use the same eyelashes as last night? I kept them. No, no, yeah. You want to cover them? Okay, okay. Okay, you don't have any on now, right? No, I don't. Okay, great.
No, I was like, I woke up with my lashes. I'm like, that was such a makeup faux pas. Like, you shouldn't do that. You <laughs> shouldn't sleep with your face on. But I did. It's like scary. It just makes sense, like, in the head. Yeah, you know, I'll just like, save it. How are you feeling, Grace? I feel good. Yeah. Shocked. Yeah. I, it's <laughs> I know. Like so long awaited, but then this weekend went by so fast. So fast. But I'm excited to see who's next. I'm excited to see what they do. I can't wait to take them out to lunch because oh. their cars. But that's oh. what I was gonna. Oh, do, cute! So. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on your makeup. Look, bomb. Cool. Love that. I really want to teach. I'm on my knees right now. Julia. Wait, this is absolutely stunning. So this is my outfit. I need to do my little booby tape, but for the final show, it's like an oversized blazer in pants. They're actually both size small, but they're very oversized. But I think I might scrunch my sleeves and then tape this. But this is like the picture that I'm thinking is like a cool like power pose. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. Pink, that's my makeup. Rob did my makeup. Love the little Barbie moment. But it matches my phone case, this outfit. And my ring. So I just think it's really fun. For once. Peace out. Any inspiring words to end the video? <laughs> what would you tell the girls competing? Um. Everybody. Be nice. Love everybody. Treat everyone like equals. I think you're ready for top five questions. <laughs>